Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here and I got a great question from my man Walid and Walid asks, how do I increase work capacity and training volume? So this is a pretty good question because you know a lot of people are talking about work capacity these days. In other words, the ability for you to do more work in less time. And then training volume is really just the total amount of work you're able to do during a workout, not necessarily being quantified over time. So you're not looking at density or your work capacity. So how do you increase work capacity? The easiest way to increase work capacity is first to pick the exercises or movements that you want to have work capacity on. Right? So what I mean by this is let's say you want to have work capacity on your pull-ups. Okay? You want to be able to do 20 pull-ups anytime, anywhere. You want to have massive work capacity. Well, then the exercise you should be doing is pull-ups, right? So how do you increase work capacity? Well, first, start out with an amount of reps that you're able to do without going to failure. Very important, without going to failure, okay? Do those reps and then set up a rest interval or an interval between your sets. So a simple thing to think about like this. If I set a timer for 60 seconds, and at the beginning of every 60 seconds, I did five pull-ups. And I did this for 10 minutes straight, okay? At the end of that 10 minutes, I would have 50 pull-ups over 10 minutes. So that means an average of five pull-ups per minute in terms of my work capacity. If all I did was that exact same workout and then added a rep each time, I would be increasing my work capacity. So you wanna either do an increase of reps or a decrease of the amount, overall amount of rest time. That is essentially what work capacity or density training is all about. Can you get more work done in less time? So pick your exercise, pick your modality, like I just talked about, and then increase the reps or decrease the time between sets. That way you're actually increasing your work capacity. Now for volume, volume's a little different. Volume would be how many sets could you do of that five reps, right? So if you're doing pull-ups again, as an example, and you were to do that same scheme of one minute and five pull-ups every minute, you would see how many minutes you could go for, right? So it could be 10, could be 15, could be 20 minutes. And the next time you hit that workout, you wanna see if you can go for more rounds of that same amount of reps, okay? So that's how you increase volume. So these are two different things. You have to approach them in two different ways. With work capacity, more work, less time. With volume, it's more work. Doesn't really matter how much time. But one of the most important things that everybody neglects is to pick the exercises or movements that they want to increase their work capacity on and then focus on those and quantify that by measuring reps, sets, and time frame and understanding about how many reps per minute you can get for work capacity and about how much total volume, how many total reps you could get for volume. So I hope that helps you out. It may have been a little confusing, but hopefully you understand right now what work capacity is, what volume is, and how you can train for both. All right, if you guys dig this video, click the like button right there. Help me spread the warrior message to more people just like you so I can teach them the right way to work out at home and how to live the warrior lifestyle. Thanks for watching.